Hey guys, today I'm going to be fixing the um, breakfast egg casserole I was going to do when one of my friends ended up with COVID and didn't get to work. And So now I'm just going to go ahead and fix it because I need to use the sausage up that I prepared out of turkey. And um, I'm just going to end up cooking it and then I'll put it in slices and put it in the refrigerator, I mean the freezer, that I'll have that I can take for breakfast um, during the week for lunch. So, um, I'm gonna take you along as I do that. I'm gonna, this was the turkey that's been setting. It's got all the seasonings mingled in with it. We're just gonna get our pan good and hot and, um, as soon as that's ready, I'll bring you right back. Okay, our pan's getting hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump our Turkey sausage mixture in. Maybe. Let me get a spoon to get it out. I packed it down in there good. Now this is a pound of turkey. And um, I made a video I haven't posted yet. But um, I also posted about how I made the turkey sausage. So it really smells good, even mixed like this. So I'm excited to try it. I haven't made any by this recipe. Um, so let me kind of get this worked around, let it start kicking, break it apart a little bit. And I'll bring you back as it starts cooking up a little bit more. Okay, let's just see kind of where I'm at. I'm trying to keep it crumbled up as it's cooking into more of a crumbled state than just, um, you know, a big blob. I want it to look more like your regular sausage crumbles. So I'm just going to keep cooking like this, guys, until I get it cooked down. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because um, it's going to cook for about an hour in the oven anyway. But I just want to get it down where you don't see the as much of the raw meat and get it a little bit of brown on some of it. Okay, guys, I've about got the turkey where I want it, so I'm just going to take it out of this pan, and I want to cook up my peppers and onions a little bit. And um, I'll bring you back once I get all this out and get my peppers going. Okay, we're going to use our same pan to do our peppers and onions. So I'm just going to add a little more oil back to my pan. And then we're going to, I've got about half of a large green pepper, like one of those really big ones from the grocery store, and about a half of a large onion. And we're just going to start kicking these down, let them start releasing some of their flavor. And I'll bring you back. So while they're cooking, let's start our egg mixture. I have eight um, large eggs. And I'm going to kind of just twist them together a little bit, but we'll do a little more because we're going to add more stuff to it, but just to kind of get them started. Okay, so to this, I want to add salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to do about a teaspoon in each of each one, if I can figure out where I laid a teaspoon. Let me just grab a half a teaspoon and I can do it that way. Alright. Let's do this. That's half. Another half. That's one. Half. One. Then I'm going to add about 
a tablespoon of dried parsley, and I think I had about a half a teaspoon of thyme. And then let's mix this up. And I'm not going to add any garlic or onion powder. You can, but I had that, some of that in with the turkey sausage when I put it together. So I think it'll be a plenty seasoning in that for that. Then, again, since we're trying to make this, would have made this for my friend who has alpha gel. I'm going to use almond milk. That's the first time I've tried it with this. We'll mix that in. Okay, my um, peppers and onions are where I want them, so I'm going to add the turkey sausage back in. And just kind of mix those together. you back a little bit. Follow your heart dairy free vegan cheese. We're going to try this. I've never used this pound before. I actually tasted of it. It tastes pretty good. I just don't know how well it's going to melt down. But I'm just going to add these two seven ounce bags. Um, there's actually maybe a fourth a cup out of one. But normally I would have just used both of them. And let me get the other one in here. We're going to try to mix that in with our egg mixture. And get all that stirred together. All right, now I'm going to have to get up my baking pan. And um, I'll bring you back. Okay, I've sprayed my pan with olive oil spray. And in the bottom of the pan, we're going to add some shredded hash browns. You can lay these out thaw if you want to. They're going to cook up as um, they cook in the oven. I'm just trying to get some that are not in big clumps in here out of my bag. And I want to do a good layer in the bottom. You know, maybe three-fourths to an inch layer. About a third of your pan. Just add so much to this. Makes it a little more heartier. Alright. Then after that, we're going to take our sausage and pepper mixture and we're going to put it on top of the potatoes. I'm sorry, that's scratching. I know that bothers some people. But I don't want to waste our goodness that we've got here. So, then we'll spread this out evenly across the top of the potatoes. 
And then we're going to pour our egg and cheese mixture over top of that. And then we'll spread that as we need to. So... spread out across the top and you can work it to get down in the sausage a little bit the last one I made I actually just mixed the sausage in um, not this vegan type or with the turkey vegan cheese and turkey um i just mixed all the sausage and everything into the egg mixture um but you can do it either way all right so i'm going to cover this with um tinfoil and we're going to have it in a 375 degree oven All right, it's covered with tinfoil. I'm going to put it in a 375 degree oven. Okay, I've took the cover off. It's still not set up good on the inside. So I'm going to cook it for about another 15 minutes without the fall over it. And then I'll bring you back and we'll recheck it. Okay, guys, this is the finished breakfast casserole. I'm going to let it cool and I'll bring you back when I slice it up to put it in the freezer okay guys i'm gonna cut the i've let it set all night in the refrigerator so i'm just gonna cut it in slices now normally you know if you're fixing it you can do it like i've cooked it to <clears throat> do or you can once you get it out you know serve it but um and i'm just gonna go down the center Right, let's take us a, a slice out so you can see what it looks like. You get it here under the light. But you can see the potato on the bottom, the egg mixtures on top. It looks really good. It looks like the one I make with um, <clears throat> the normal stuff in it. So let me get it on my plate and heat it up and we'll give it a taste test. While that one's cooking in the microwave and heating up, I'll show you how I'm gonna, one slice of this will be a plenty for me. Can you see it good there? For work. So I'm just gonna wrap it good, get it good and snug. The plastic wrap, and then I'll end up putting each one of these down in a Ziploc bag, probably a gallon bag time I get them all done. <clears throat> okay, let's do a little taste test. I'm going to try it first without anything. I'm going to be honest, it's really good. I was worried about the cheese. And I didn't know how well the sausage flavor was going to hold in that turkey. But that, it's, it, I'm very pleasantly surprised and pleased with it. <clears throat> so let's try a bite with a little bit of hot sauce. That's good too. And I'm going to try the ketchup because I love the ketchup because of the potatoes. I like ketchup with eggs anyway. I think I like the ketchup the best. But <clears throat> this is really good, guys. If you can eat, like I said, if you have Alpha Gale <clears throat> 
and you can't eat some of that other stuff, give this one a try because it's really not a lot different. Now, do I prefer the original one? Yes. But this is still good. I would eat this, and I will eat it. Um, so if you're looking for something like this, give this one a try. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Okay, guys, I've got 11 more breakfast meals um, wrapped and in a vacuum, um, not in a vacuum seal bag, in a Ziploc bag. So I hope you give this one a try.